You guys, it's been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. The Senate this week passed a bipartisan bill to promote new technologies, including artificial intelligence and robotics. What mm. could go wrong? <laughs> According to a recent article, a new dynamic of the Republican Party is that most candidates have to embrace conspiracy theories. Even worse, they all have to embrace this haircut. Mm. Why? Oof. Why? Such a uh, I want the, uh, I want, I want the, I want the oatmeal. Oh, Mitch. Uh, Mitch, Mitch uh, you, uh, no. Uh, oh, please wear uh, turtleneck for the love of God. Uh, a town in West Virginia this week hosted an international water tasting contest. Mm -hmm. An international water tasting contest, or as white people <laughs> call it, a cook-off. <laughs> Authorities in Kansas arrested a man after he allegedly attacked a grocery store worker during an argument about Chick-fil-A sauce. And it's a good thing they caught him because he was about to dip. <laughs> 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 Oh. oh, man, when you're black and you get your own little show and you get to do black puns, <laughs> oh, my God, mm. it's going to fill up your heart. Yeah. According to new research, elephants can suck water into their trunks 50 times faster than a human can sneeze. The, that story again, scientists have given up on cancer and they're just out there having fun. <laughs> Bless them. This is Bed Bug Awareness Week. Unfortunately, your landlord doesn't celebrate. And finally, the National Geographic Society announced this week that the planet has a fifth ocean. It's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened to Billy? Billy Ocean. The, he is the fourth ocean. He's the fourth ocean. Pacific. Pacific. Atlantic. Atlantic Indian. Indian. Billy, Billy. And Frank. Frank. All right. That's them. Right. That's them. And that was the monologue. Tarek, did you like the monologue? I did. It helped me catch up on the news. Well, get ready, because here comes more news for that ass. <laughs> It was announced this week that billionaire Jeff Bezos and his brother Mark will take an 11-minute flight next month to the edge of space. Yeah, yeah, who cares? Oh, who's that? It's me, Jim Bezos. I'm Jeff and Mark's other brother. Screw those guys. They're freaking jerks. Wow, you're Jeff Bezos' brother? What? I don't seem smart enough to be related to a billionaire? You know, screw you too, Amber. Whoa, 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 Jim Bezos. Why are you so angry? Because Jeff and Mark never include me in stuff ever. And I'm sick of it. I'm a Bezos brother too, but did Jeff ask me to go to space? No. Did you guys have a falling out or something? Your guess is as good as mine. Growing up, we were the three amigos. I mean, we were as close as brothers can be. And then one day, Jeff just stops returning my calls and so does Mark. I don't know, I don't get it. When was that? It's right around the time that this photo was taken. Notice anything? Yeah, I do. I knew you'd see it. That photo was taken right before Amazon hit it big. I guess Jeffy Boy thought I'd uh, get jealous or something. I don't know. Well, that's not what I was talking about. Jim, did you ever think that Jeff's maybe jealous of you? Why would the world's richest man be jealous of me? Because you have a full, lustrous, beautiful, Pantene Plus head of hair, and his head looks like a condom. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe you have the one thing that Jeff Bezos knows all the money in the world can't buy. Well, wait. He, he can definitely buy one of these. It only cost me 150 bucks. <laughs> That's a wig? Never mind. I'm sorry. I don't know why Jeff Bezos hates you so much. Probably because I stole all that money from him. Well, probably. No, get out of here. Okay. Hey, take that wig with you. All right. Now it's time for something fun. Great idea. It's been a while since we've gotten to play a game on this show, and I miss it. So I've come up with a fun little game that you can play along with at home. It's called Buscemi or Bird. 
first ever game that asks you to figure out whether a photo I show you is of renowned film and television actor Steve Buscemi or this one bird I saw at a Home Depot. The rules are simple. You just... Uh-oh. Amber, we have to put a pause in this. Check your phone. A report out of Florida says there have been more than 10,000 COVID variant cases and the state has seen a surge after Memorial Day. All right, I guess Buscemi or Bird will have to be pushed to another week again. This was supposed to be a comedy show with lots of gags and goofs and laughs and spoofs that make you go, whoa. But now the news keeps getting worse and I was already fearing this. So no more jokes, it's time for us to get serious. Hey Amber, that skateboard we ordered is finally here. You know, for that sketch, John and Kate plus skate. Sorry, Tarek, but that way too late parody is gonna have to wait. Uh. We gotta tackle some serious news. Uh, uh, okay. COVID numbers rising means there's no time for silliness. I can't wear funny wigs if the police won't stop killing us. So no more smiling, save your funny ha-has for the nighttime. I have to Google what's up with this pipeline. Yeehaw, partner. I reckon we got ourselves a little bit of- Sorry, Scollins, we actually have to cut this character. We want to do a speech addressing the rise of white supremacy in the United States. Well, that doesn't sound very funny. Yeah, it's not, but if you want, you can come on at the end playing a skinhead. Can he be a cowboy skinhead? No, that's ridiculous. Just a regular skinhead. I'll go shave, I guess. Rocket ships from outer space might crash and kill us all. And Fauci says we might be wearing masks still in the fall. California had its 12th mass shooting, did you know? That number's probably gone up since we wrote this days ago. I'm a singing soda and I'm shaking my can. Hey, I want no, no, sorry, Corinne. We actually have to cut this sketch. There have been some really awful things happening in the news, so we got to address them. You can go home. I learned an entire Broadway dance number for this. Sorry. I'm not a dancer. It took weeks. Can I just like, just show you a little? Just no, Corinne, put your arms down. It's time to get serious. One day things might simmer down and then we'll all get silly. We'll finally shoot that bit we wrote with dunk tanks full of chili. But till then we'll do good with all the power we have harnessed and use our show to lighten up the darkness. Uh. Amber, Scotland's just got shot. Yeah, apparently some real skinheads didn't like his impression of him. Oh, we can't do anything on this show. I have my own YouTube channel now. Yay! Be sure to subscribe for a lot of show clips and a lot of digital exclusives and a lot of this. <laughs>